Greetings, this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil, home of Grovana, and uh, just the most amazing plant inoculant, soil inoculant on the market. This is my opinion, and I hope God's blessing you. Um, it's not only my opinion, it's, you know, I believe this is from God, because um, all I'm doing is observing nature and just thinking about it, thinking about how roots work, the plant works, the soil, the microbes, what's it all mean? How did God, God is an infinite God, and God works in the, on the molecular structure. He, uh, he does, and, um, and I'm, when I'm talking molecular, I'm talking uh, all the enzymes and acids and hormones and other type of uh, antioxidants, the boost of the health of the plant you absorbing that health system into your system enabling you to become healthier and healthier not only that by the immune system of the plant and by uh, the antioxidant the high amount of antioxidants the high amount of mineral content of your uh, plant you know a look at the bricks level you know look get a bricks tester and test your food and you're gonna see food you buy in a supermarket is very weak very weak it's like holographic fake food and uh, but then you buy try an organic tomato same kind grown in soil without liquid fertilizers whatsoever be they organic or chemical and you're gonna notice a huge huge taste difference especially if you got loaded a living soil I mean by loaded I mean loaded with all the NPKs and minerals that your plant needs to thrive strongly and all the different type of microbes you're gonna need in there to get the job done too because that's the way God intended it to be microbes and plant coexisting because there are things that you're not going to get from liquid fertilizers such as Fox Farms liquid fertilizers organic or not they are not the way to go or other type of liquid fertilizers that are now suddenly organic uh, it's an organic market starting to pick up but they know they know the scientists know that growing a plant with liquids is not the way to go there's so much that the microbes give to the plant that that the liquids cannot ever ever achieve no matter how complex and how many years in the future where men are so like super supposedly super smart they're still never going to replicate with them God of uh, on the, that, that he's a god of, on the molecular structure he works in the tiny tiny molecules that are around us and um, he's just an amazing God and that's how he worked and that's how he set up the perfect ecosystem with soil and microbes and even all the different insects and everything just coincides and, and, and just they it's a beautiful ecosystem that God's designed and to do it any other way is to really be perverting growing so if you're an organic gardener, you need to put uh, organic nutrients, natural and organic nutrients in the soil that are not man-made, like green sand and rock phosphate or some bat guano or some feather meal or fish meal or kelp meal or some azomite or some sort of, you know, you, you load up and maybe a little oyster shell flour to balance out the pH. Because one thing you're going to have with living soil, you're going to have a higher amount of acidity in your soil. but And that might affect it in the first week or two, a couple weeks of your plant. But once those microbes bond with your plant's root system, it's over. And then they just go crazy. And the root system it doesn't show any type of stress because the root systems are being guarded by a, you know, a little micro layer of slime from the mycorrhizal and from the bacteria in general protecting those root systems from any type of harm because that's their bread and butter is the sugars and carbohydrates those roots leak that's the way God made it that those roots uh, are buddies with the microbes and the microbes buddies with the roots and uh, and you know that's that's one story you know your root system is another we'll talk about I talked about that in other videos how it's not good to just put your plan in a cup and hope that it does good because you're just ruining the root system by doing that and I explained in another video how you can achieve avoiding that and there is stuff on the market that helps air prune roots well this video is pretty long what did I do I mixed the uh, IMO my uh, the different IMOs I use called Grovana excuse me um, into the soil mix and um, the leaves 
uh, well, the soil I threw on top after I mixed the IMO or the Grovana, Grovana. And um, I just say IMO just so you understand what it is, IMO3, because um, that's the form that it takes. And so, but it's much, much more. And so then I mixed it up really good with the green and the carbon and nice, uh, even, you know, whatever, ratio mixture. And then I uh, threw a little of this compost on top. We're going to take a look at that in a week, a couple weeks. Uh, we'll look at that in a week. And I guarantee there'll be some sort of mycocillin, some sort of bacteria buildup on top of there because I threw a hand, couple handfuls of that on top too, maybe like a cup and a half. So it doesn't take much Grovan, especially if you make it through the tea. I just advise you to look into it. If you want living soil, you got to start with a good source of bacteria and fungi that are, that are designed and put there by God for specific use of growing plants. Not just any old bacteria, but specific bacteria and targeted microbes that are there for you. Just so many other functions other than just feeding your plant. Well, that's it. Long story short, may God bless you this day. Yes.